Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. So we are in the last part of vectors. So we had to discuss gradient, divergence and curve uh, for a scalar function and for vector functions. So we will be going through the important formula and calculation in this video and the problems will be in the next uh, videos. Okay, so first of all you have to understand we are talking about multivariable functions and I'm going to talk about two multivariable functions. One is a scalar generating multivariable function. I'll give you one example. A function which depends on the variables x, y, z, x, y plus z square. And remember, if you plug in any x value, y value, z value, it is easy to observe that you are going to get a scalar, you are going to get a number. So this is a scalar valued function or a multivariable scalar valued function. Now suppose we have a function, a vector valued function which depends on three variables. For example x squared into i plus y z into j plus x plus y minus z into k. Now look at this, it's easy to observe that for any plug-in or for any three-dimensional coordinate, we will get a vector value. So this is a vector generating function or a vector valued function in three variables. The first point I want to emphasize is gradient of a function is defined for scalar valued functions or the scalar functions. These are the scalar functions. And divergence and curl are defined for vector valued functions. Okay, now before we start, I to introduce an operator called the del operator. Uh, they, they can, you can, it can be called as del or nabla or atlet. So del is given by i dou by dou x plus j dou by dou y plus k dou by dou z. Uh, if you don't call it dou, uh, like what you call, you can use whatever notation you say, but basically it's a partial derivative operator. So the del operator is given by i partial derivative with respect to x, j partial derivative with respect to y, k partial derivative with respect to z. You can use the uh, words nabla, atlet, etc. for this del. And the del squared or the nabla squared is given by del dot del or do it's a second order partial derivatives. Okay, this is where we start. Now we need two things. One is a scalar valued function and another is a vector valued function. Now remember the gradient of a scalar valued function is denoted by grade 5. And it comes as the formula del phi. Okay. And you can think about it. Del is i dou by dou x plus j dou by dou f phi. So basically you end up with i the partial derivative of phi with respect to x. J partial derivative of phi with respect to y. Plus k times partial derivative of phi with respect to z. Uh, now look at this, this um, what you call this vector function is very interesting. The gradient is very interesting because if you look at the i component, it gives you the rate of change along the x direction. Basically it will cut the curve, it will slice the curve um, parallel to the like what you call y z plane. And if you look at the j component, it gives you the partial derivative with respect to y. That is, we can find the change with respect to y. And finally, with respect to z. So this has a um, another interesting name. This gradient has another interest, interesting name. It is called the directional derivative or the directional derivative. So in examination, they keep on asking one question. You can check the past paper questions and they keep on asking, find the directional derivative of a scalar function. 
So if you ever see the directional derivative, you should remember you have to calculate gradient of that function. That is very simple to calculate. Find the partial derivatives and put it in put it as components of i, j, k. Now suppose you want the directional derivative in the direction of a particular vector. If you want the directional derivative in the direction of a particular vector, then you have to take the projection. Do you remember the formula for projection? Yeah. So basically you find gradient dot product it with a by modulus of a. So you are actually taking the projection of gradient in the direction of a. Now the special cases are, they may ask what is the directional derivative in the direction of x-axis. x-axis means i and the directional derivative in the direction of i is nothing but dou phi by dou x, the partial derivative with respect to x and that will be actually grad phi dot i. Similarly, if you want the directional derivative with respect to j, it will be dot j, dot k, or you simply find the partial derivatives. Okay, now, um, another important thing is, they may ask you to find the normal vector of a random surface phi equal to 0. Now, this is one of the most easiest way to find the normal of a surface. All you have to do is, you have to write the equation in the form phi equal to 0 and evaluate grad phi, the gradient of phi. So once more, let me make it very clear, you have to by heart the formula for gradient and gradient is called the directional derivative and if you want the directional derivative in a particular direction, you have to take the projection or you by heart this formula. Now, another important um, interpretation of the gradient is it will be the normal to a random surface phi equal to 0. For example, if you want to find the normal uh, at any point to the surface x square plus y square plus z square equal to 9, the first thing you do is you take all the quantities to the left or right as you prefer and put it in the form something equal to 0. And if you take the gradient of this phi, you will get the normal at any point on the surface. Now, the next question or the next type of question that they can ask is the unit normal vector. So remember, unit normal vector is given by grad phi, the whole divided by mod grad phi. That's very simple. If you want to create a unit vector, what do you do? You divide by modulus. I already told you grad phi is the normal. So the unit normal will be grad phi divided by mod grad phi. And there is one more thing I have to say, maximum rate of change. Sometimes they may ask you, find the maximum rate of change. You have to find modulus of grad phi. Because you will get the normal vector which has the highest, um, what do you call which has maximum length. Now, you have to understand one more thing. If gradient of phi equal to 0, we say phi is a constant. If grad phi equal to 0, then we say phi is a constant. Okay, now time to discuss about um, the divergence and curve. So, like I told you, gradient is defined only for scalar functions and divergence and curl are defined for vector valued functions. Now, the formula for divergence is actually del dot phi and the formula for curl is del cross phi. You can remember with this trick d for dot and c for cross. Okay, now to evaluate, we have one more simple formula. Look at this. The phi given here is a vector valued function. So it will have an i component, it will have a j component, and it will have a k component. So what you do is you find the partial derivative of x 
for the component of i plus partial derivative of y for component of j same thing just like dot product how do you take the dot product think about it for one minute and always remember del is an operator that's why it comes like this you cannot write phi 1 into dou by dou x plus dou by dou z of phi 3 and how do you take the cross product determinant i j k and del will be our dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z and phi 1 phi 2 phi 3 so that's it this will be divergence and curve now once more let me um, remind you the whole thing we are learning about two different functions scalar valued and vector valued vector valued will be always in component form phi 1 i plus phi 2 j plus phi 3 k and remember these are all depending on fun functions which depend on x y z now the scalar value function uh, what you call with the scalar valued function you cannot calculate divergence and curl the only operation defined is gradient of phi which is del phi which is given by i partial derivative with respect to x partial derivative with respect to y plus partial derivative with respect to z and here uh, divergence and curl is defined by del dot and del cross which is easy to remember d for dot c for cross and you have to buy hard the formula now if gradient is equal to zero the function will be a constant now if divergence is equal to zero then we call that the system the vector system or the family of vector is solenoidal and if curl of a function is zero then we say that function is irrotational if you uh, i'll give you a, uh, a rough idea this divergence look at this first of all uh, we model real life scenarios into vectors using functions and when you use vector function you can model the magnetic field you can mo model the gravitational fields you can model even flow of gases etc etc using even heat flow even heat flow can be designed with a vector function now if you calculate the divergence you'll be able to understand whether there is uh, flux flux means flow flow of the what you call whatever things you design so you can calculate the flux or the flow so if divergence is equal to zero it behaves something like a solid and the state is called the solenoidal state and curl um, what you call gives you the angular velocity so if you if the curl becomes zero then you can say that there will be no rotation in the uh, in that what you call movement that's it now let's do some simple problems so that in the next video we can go through problems which come in the question paper so the first question a scalar valued function is given x square plus y cube plus z and they are asking find the gradient at the point 1 comma 1 comma 1 so look at this a scalar valued function is given so definitely um, we can find the gradient the gradient is given by del phi and what is del phi i partial derivative with respect to x j partial derivative with respect to y plus k partial derivative with respect to z so calculate the partial derivatives i get 2x plus 3y squared plus 1 now all you have to do is you have to plug in that point at 1 comma 1 comma 1 this will become 2i plus 3j plus k that's it um, don't forget gradient stands for directional derivative and if you want the directional derivative in the direction of a vector all you have to do is you have to find the gradient dot a divided by modulus of a this is one of the most most repeated questions okay now they have given a vector valued function 
in three variables. Look at this. X plus Y plus 1 times I plus J plus minus X minus Y times K. And they are asking to find the divergence of F and curl of F. So how, do you, how did you define the divergence? Yeah, D for dot. So del dot F. And it is given by the partial derivative of the I component plus partial derivative of J component with respect to Y and of course with respect to Z. Yeah. So this will be 1 plus 0 plus 0 that will be 1. Now the curl how do you calculate the curl? C for cross so the definition is del cross F this will be determinant i j k and what is del dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z the partial derivatives and f the components are x plus y plus 1 1 minus x minus y now remember when you expand the determinant be very very careful this will be i times remember Usually when we expand a determinant, it will be multiplication. Here it is not multiplication. You have to perform the operation dou by dou y on the function minus x minus y. Minus dou by dou z of 1. So this is something different from uh, your determinant expansions that you learned earlier. The reason is this is an operator. This row is an operator minus j times come on leave this row and column you get dou by dou x of minus x minus y minus dou by dou z of x plus y plus 1 plus k times dou by dou x of 1 minus dou by dou y of x plus y plus 1 so simplify um, here we want the partial derivative with respect to y so I get minus 1 and the next one is 0 and minus j times it's minus 1 minus 0 plus k times 0 minus 1 so we get minus i plus j minus k yeah that's it uh, you can try to calculate the divergence gradient etc for these functions at 1 minus 1 1 so we can calculate only the gradient and we can try calculating at 1 1 1 what all things can you calculate here the divergence and curl so that's it. In the next video, we will go through the important questions in divergence, curl and gradient. So till then, my friends, bye.